In today's lecture, we will solve problem number 10 in subnetting. Let's see the question now. The question is, two computers C1 and C2 are configured as follows. C1 has IP address 203.197.2.53 and the subnet mask which is referred as net mask here which is 255.255.128.0. C2 has IP address 203.197.75.201 and the net mask 255.255.192.0. Which one of the following statements is true? This is the question. And this question was asked in the year 2006 in Gate Computer Science. So when we look at the question, C1 and C2 has its own IP address and the net mask which is the subnet mask. When we look at them, they are not belonging to the same network. Why? Because C1 is using the subnet mask 255.255.1280 and C2 is using the subnet mask 255.255.192.0. And we are required to find which one of the following statements is true. The options are given. Option A, C1 and C2 both assume they are on the same network. Option B, C2 assumes C1 is on the same network but C1 assumes C2 is on a different network. Option C, C1 assumes C2 is on same network, but C2 assumes C1 is on a different network. And option D, C1 and C2 both assume they are on different networks. If you note here, I had just told you that C1 and C2 are not belonging to the same network. Blindly, we cannot choose option D that C1 and C2 both assume they are on the different networks. Obviously, they are on different network, but what about their assumption? What C1 thinks about C2 and what C2 thinks about C1 matters here. So we should not blindly solve it. Rather, we need to analyze it deeply. Because we need to figure out certain things before answering this question. Let's see it now. There are many ways to solve this. So I have taken a different methodology to solve this problem. Here is a very unique approach. Let's say we have a computer which is named as C1. And we have another computer which is C2. And C1 and C2 are assigned with the IP address and subnet mask, right? And we know both C1 and C2 are connected. And let's say there is a network between these two. We need to figure out what is the perspective of C1 according to C2 and what is the perspective of C2 according to C1. Before going into the details, let's see the IP address which is assigned to both C1 and C2. The IP address and the subnet mask for C1 which is mentioned in the question is 203.197.2.53 and the net mask is 255.255.128.0. Now what about the IP address and the subnet mask of C2? It's 203.197.75.201 and the net mask is 255.255.192.0. Before solving that, let's first verify whether these two computers are belonging to the same network or not. Obviously, they are not belonging to the same network because the subnet masks are different. Here it is 1280 and here it is 192.0. Let's find out the network address of C1 as well as C2. We know the IP address is given and the net mask is also given. It's simple, just convert that into binary. So convert this IP address into binary, net mask into binary and perform a bitwise AND operation. I request you to watch my previous lecture to find the network address of the host. So I had already solved this. If you want, you can just verify by manually doing the calculation. Let's see the network address of C1. The network address or network ID of C1 is 203.197.0.0. And in the same fashion, I have also calculated the network ID, which is also called as the network address of C2, which is 203.197.64.0. How did I get this? Just convert this IP address into binary, convert this subnet mask into binary and perform the bitwise AND operation. So we got the network address of C1 and C2. When we analyze it, C1's network address and C2's network address are different. So we can clearly say C1 and C2 are not belonging to the same network. But what C1 thinks about C2 and what C2 thinks about C1 is the question. Suppose if C1 wants to ping C2, how it can be done? It can be done using a ping message, right? So let's take C1 now. So if C1 wants to contact C2, what it should do? So we will be sending a ping message like ping the destination address. Since we are initiating this request from C1, the destination is 203.197.75.201. That is C2. So ping, we are giving the C2's IP address. 
Normally, when we ping or when we try to reach other computer, we will be either providing the name of the computer or we will be providing the IP address of the destination. And normally, this will be the case. We will never provide subnet mask for checking the connectivity or contacting another computer. So, when we initiate ping 203.197.75.201, C1 has to ensure whether the destination which is 203.197.75.201 is in the same network. So, what it will do is, it will take this subnet mask and it puts this subnet mask and checks the network address. Just see, this computer is sending the ping message. So, it uses its own subnet mask. So, when it uses its own subnet mask with the destination IP address, C1 is doing this because it needs to just ensure whether the destination is belonging to its own network or different network. Let's now calculate the network ID or the network address of these two values. Just do this, convert this into binary, convert this into binary, perform the bitwise AND operation. So, we'll be getting 203.197.0.0. Can you notice a point here? The network ID for the destination IP address with the source computer subnet mask is the same as that of the network ID of C1. So, C1 assumes C2 is on its own network because the network ID is 203.197.0.0 and this is the same network ID of C1 which is also 203.197.0.0. So, C1 assumes C2 is on its own network because both the network IDs are matching. And what about C2? Say, if C2 wants to contact C1, let's say it is going to send a ping message like this. So, here C2 is the sender and C1 is the receiver. So, C1, the IP address of C1 is 203.197.253, right? So, we will be providing ping 203.197.253 here. Now, C2 wants to check whether the destination is belonging to its own network. So, what it will do is, it applies its own subnet mask on the destination IP address and finds the network address or the network ID. When it uses its own subnet mask, actually this is not the subnet mask of this computer. It is using 128.0. But C2 will apply its own subnet mask and it calculates the network address or the network ID. When it calculates the network address or the network ID, it is 203.197.0.0. But this is not 203.197.0.0, this is 64.0. Since the network address of C2 and the network address it has obtained for the destination by applying its own subnet mask, both are different. C2 assumes C1 is on a different network. It means it is not belonging to its own network because the network IDs are different. And that's it, we solved this problem. Now let's revisit this question. And what is the answer? Are C1, C2 both assume they are on the same network? No. Is C2 assume C1 is on the same network? No, actually C1 assume C2 on the same network. What about option C? C1 assume C2 is on the same network. True. But C2 assume C1 is on a different network. It's true. Let's check D also. C1 and C2 both assume they are on different networks. Option D is also wrong. So, the right answer is option C. C1 assumes C2 is on the same network, but C2 assumes C1 is on a different network. And that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this lecture and thank you for watching.